Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Benita from Benita Doodles and today we are going to go through how I drew this uh, Bremont. It's the Alt 1 WT Military Edition. Now I have a bit of a secret to share. In uh, I drew this months ago and I'm talking really huge months ago and I've only just got around to sharing the video because the person who was gifting it to their friend has literally only just got round to handing it over to them but um, this portrait flew all the way over to Australia and was very well received so that makes me a happy artist and the person who purchased it a happy friend. Um, the reason partly is because I like to record these for my clients, customers, whatever you want to call the lovely people that buy art from me, you gorgeous, wonderful people. Um, they like to see these progress drawings because they like to see the development, I suppose, of the picture that they've put their money into. And I do personally think that it's nice for them to see the sort of drawing action in process. So yeah, I thought I'd have a bit of a not a huge one but a bit of a chat with you with this one because um if you've watched the last one pretty sure i put it up uh, you'll see me using the magnifying glass well i had to use it again on this one and you'll see as we progress through the details why and the amount of details in this particular watch was quite insane actually and yeah it was a eye strainer to say the least but so worth it the outcome if you watch to the end i'm so so pleased with the outcome it worked really really well and it was a bit of a, a challenge when it came to doing the dials on the faces the black faces with the white numbers and the lines were incredibly hard to do you can only get your pencil to a certain mini tiny itty bitty point to a degree but not to the point where you're looking at I mean to give you an idea this portrait is six by six so you're looking at mini 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 minuscule millimeters a little bit of noise there sorry these tiny little minuscule millimeters of lines that are going on and when you're trying to draw around them because it's far easier to leave negative space than to try and add white on top. The jelly roll pens and the paint pens wouldn't have cut it and on this type of portrait I don't particularly agree with using them actually because they're a water-based product and even the uh, even the acrylic paints and things like that that people use for highlights do flake off after a while because you're putting them on a wax base so I much prefer to have a, uh, a negative space left and literally just try and draw around the number the letter the mark or whatever it is that I'm drawing around so bear that in mind if you're going to be doing that in the future because it's worth considering especially when it comes to archival quality if you want this portrait to last and you don't want any issues to occur you're better off using negative space or you'll see later on that I actually use my slice tool to etch some of those details in um, which actually proved quite handy especially the straight lines because you could go in and get those lines nice and neat now as I say you can see here that I'm having to use a magnifying glass and they were tiny I cannot explain how tiny they were yeah just bonkers and I'm really really pleased with the outcome of it and the I don't know I suppose the realism which is something I always strive for anyway but I just think something about this was extra successful and I don't know whether that's because of the sheer amount of detail that I have to get in you'll see later on that there's an aeroplane there's some sort of bird symbol there's highlights around the I do not know the technical term so please don't shoot me um, where the where the number dials are no I'll give up trying to explain that actually because I'm pretty rubbish at it but where the light hits and you get that reflective surface you can barely see the numbers um, in the shadow of course they're going to be stronger and I, I thought I really successfully achieved the difference between the light and the shadow on this particular picture which is why I think it really turned out well and the strap color actually I was quite quite pleased with that 
I'd love to know what your favourite watches are. Have you ever heard of Bremont before? They've been on TV. They're pretty famous now. They're the, well, they're a huge, huge luxury watch company, and the the co-founders, the brothers, are just brilliant. They're so down to earth and um, and so normal, and I find that really endearing. Uh, I've met giles um twice but nick has so far eluded me um he, they're very very busy chaps so the couple of events that i've been to nick's been pulled away quite a lot so um i've been really blessed actually to have a set of fans i suppose of not only the bremont watches but of my artwork as well which means that they are getting their watch forever <laughs> In, um, in pencil because a lot of people actually not these particular watches that I'm drawing now but the other types of watches like the DH88 and things like that people do tend to sell on later on and then they either upgrade or buy a different watch so you know if they want rather than just your basic photo uh, you know they, they get this watch or their favorite watch encompassed in pencil for years and years to come and it's a really nice alternative gift as well i've actually done a couple of watches for presents and for you know those people that really aspire to have these type of watches but maybe can't afford them yeah they they've been over the moon when they've received these portraits of these watches and you know it's a privilege to draw them i have great fun with them and i just love as much as it grates on me at the time i love doing the level of detail it's it's something i really get excited about and yeah i just i just adore it it's great fun if you've got any questions below with regards to the process that i do um you know please ask in the comments below i'm happy to answer anything i can i'm going to leave you in peace now with a bit of music and uh, yeah i'd love it if you could watch the end to see the final result and let me know what you think because uh yeah your your opinions matter and yeah if you've enjoyed it hit that thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of not only these time lapses but i go live every wednesday with tutorials i have a tutorial out every friday and yeah come find me in the facebook group and come and join my arty family i shall see you guys on the next video but have a good morning afternoon evening whichever it may be and i shall see you guys on the other side bye